just made it to Cuba and we've been dropped for a little bit but we just finished breakfast so this is what it looks like from our ship. Okay guys, so we have to go through immigration first because we have our visas, but we and to get through Cuba, we have to go through immigration. And yeah, it's gonna take a little while to get through there because a lot of people are going out to Cuba. And there's another ship next to us. I think it's Oasis of the Sea, but it's the Rediga, I think that's how you say it. So. This is the one next to us. So the line will become like bigger since, oh look it. Down there they're like hooking it up. to the ropes. So yeah, I'll see you when we're doing the process of getting off. So we just got off in Cuba. This was our ship from close. Morning. So this is the line for the immigration. So I just went through immigration and now we're here. <laughs> so this is what it looks like right after you go through immigration. Right there is immigration. And this is just like, I don't know. I think it's excursions. So you visit like your excursion right here. So now we're past security and everything. And there's like really pretty backgrounds. And stores. <laughs> so here's another model of our ship. This one's more realistic. So yeah, that's an exchange money machine because you have to, you can't use US dollars here. There's this really cool, I don't know, thing, picture, and it's just really pretty. And there's a few of them too. Actually going out into the city of Cuba. <gasps> wow, a little it's a horse. Wow. Every single car that there is, they're old. Wow. There's only old cars here. It's pretty really pretty cool. Oh my gosh, guys, there's so many old cars.
Racing Park. Bueno, excursion car. We're going in the 57 Chevy. Those are taxis and they're really different. When you do this, so vale más o menos lo que vale. Baja la ventanilla si quieres. Baja aquí mismo. Ah, sí. Gracias. Closer. I want to give you information. 499 years old, and it's going to be the next November 16, 500. 500. That's why you see a sign around uh, everywhere in the city, a 500 sign everywhere. Big celebration, big party. So if you can visit Cuba <laughs> in November 16, it's going to be big, very November big. November 16 this year? Yes, this year. Yes. So Havana was the fifth village established by the Spanish in Cuba in 1519. That's why it's divided in two main areas, New and North Havana. 
the old city was made by the Spanish between 1518 to 1899. So the new city we are right now was made by the Americans between 1930s to 1958. But actually, we were a colony by the Americans since 1902. But the real American uh, architecture, the American Art Deco, started after 1930s. Okay. Yes, 1930 was a very iconic year in our country between U.S. and Cuba because also in the 1930s was the prohibition in the U.S. No liquors, no alcohol. So people like uh, Al Capone, Lupin Luciano, and the Mafia, Mayor Lensky, all those people, they were making like a trade and businesses, you know, legal business between Canada, U.S. and Cuba. This hotel was a place where Mayor Lensky, um, Al Capone, and Lupin Luciano, they were staying many times for the business, okay? They were the big guys between 1930s to 1958. The big guys in Cuba. So, um, the best thing is, I mean, for people, for pictures, is all Havana because the architecture. I was telling the guys about that all Havana is something very special about that all the cities around the world. I've never been outside Cuba, so I can tell you about just Cuba. Right. <laughs> um, uh, maybe in other countries, I guess, you go into a place with old architecture, but you see the same architecture from the same century, maybe. Right. In Havana, you go in around, and every single block is one part of the history, like 16th century, 18th century, 19th century, in one block. Just one block. Just pay attention, you see the balconies, the fasha, the fasak, everything, different centuries, okay? So, National Hotel, National Hotel. National Hotel was built by the Americans, was finished the construction December 30, 1930. Was opened the first time, December 30, Tuesday, 9 p.m. <laughs> How I know because I have a book in my home with all the details about that. So it's the iconic uh, hotel in our country. Um, it's a bunch of history. Actually, it's called, it's called by the people as the Living Museum because it's so historical and also very expensive. <laughs> yeah, very expensive too. Um, so this hotel was also used during the Cold War and you know the crisis of the crisis of the missiles in 1962. Uh, in the backyard, I will show you, it was used as a bunker. So all over the around, you see bunkers that were used in that time during the 13 days that's happened this missile crisis between the, uh, uh, the, Union, the Soviet Union with Nikita Khrushchev, Kennedy in US, and Fidel Castro in Cuba. Okay? So this is some information. If you want to ask every, anything, just ask me, okay? Just shoot. Okay. Okay? <laughs> Really pretty here. Good job. That's what she told me, yes. This is a gigantic cannon, and I'm not sure if it was actually used or if it's real. I think it was, though. It's it huge. It's a World Heritage Site. It used to be a fort before. It used to be a fort, yeah. Yeah, so this used to be a fort in the war. Really pretty. The ocean's right there. This. Yeah, this must have been a fort. It is, it says. But now they're making it, I don't know what. And there's a huge camera on there. There must be like a set or show or whatever. So this is a fort. And now we're walking to that sign over there. It's just Cuba. Okay, guys, so we are here at the Cuban sign, and it's Cuba on it, and there is like water, it's really, it's like a cliff, it's kind of dangerous right here, but it's really nice.
So that's our cute little pink car. That is a really pretty green car. It's like the coolest color I've ever seen. I have never seen a car that color. So cool guys. And by the way, we're up here in this top. So we're going inside the little bunker fort. Okay. Okay. Guys, so we're going under the tunnel. I'm a little nervous, but. My mom is too scared to come, so I'm coming with my brother and his friends. Okay, oh my gosh, look at it. What's up? Oh wow. Oh no. It goes all the way to the fucking front of the wall. Oh no. I can see why this was used one for the war. Oh no. Eso para también para los militares que estaban acá. Porque ese es un cartel muy activo, ¿no? Que se hizo su cartel. Ah, no sé si es como que no me lo meto. Yep. Same. Oh, it's my house and it's dark. Another room. Yeah, I blocked it off. A room. This is sick. This is scary. This is so cool, though. I feel like there's going to be rats in here. I can't see. Another tunnel is blocked off. Okay, another room is blocked off though. Esto para ventilación. Oh, para ventilación. So this is for ventilation, just to get air in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So that's for air. Oh no, I don't want to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> another room blocked off. Es lo que te digo. Por aquí entraban y salían los militares a relevar lo que estaban arriba con las armas, porque ellos tenían el, cua el cuartel en el primer piso del hotel. Estaban hasta el sótano, el, el sótano que hasta hace poco tiempo yo podía llevar a la gente para que vean. That's to go into the hotel. This is more for air. Oh my gosh. 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 Oh my eh, un fragmento de un avión U2 que fue derribado en Cuba por un soviético en la zona de Holguín. Wow. Yeah. What is of, it? Of a airplane that was in Cuba. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a piece of an airplane. Yeah. Los libros that que hablan de la historia, pero piece. en español, ¿no? Okay. It's just history. books about history, about, but in Spanish, obviously. Y en este lugar donde está el cilindro, tenían okay. ellos instalado arriba un telescopio que era para ver a distancia, ¿no? Oh my gosh, guys. This is scary. Yeah, this is, yeah, vamos a this is just a, this is just like a people. <laughs> a what? This was to look at for farm businesses. Oh, this is, this was just like a people. It's, it's all the same. Right? A people, so it's a little corner. So it's a little corridor to see, um. Bueno, nos vamos con esta parejita que ella nos entiende muy bien. <laughs> a so people for telescopes for looking out into the ocean. Hey guys. Oh, we're going down. We're going down. Oh my gosh, there's a little hump. So hot, another circulation. This must have taken a long time to build. Just tell me what you're saying. Yeah, so it's Ventilation. Yeah. Is that Isaac? Yeah. Oh, careful. Oh, there's rocks and little step stones. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. This is so tiny. It's getting smaller and smaller. It's getting shorter, so I'm, I can literally just... Wow, it gets real short. Yeah, maybe ah, even I have to duck. Yeah, that was such a long walk, that's all that's how far we went. I know. 
Oh my wow. gosh, guys, it's crazy and really hot in there. I actually came back in because we have to go all the way around. My mom's still panicking, but um, yeah, it's kind of cool. But it was a little scary. This is like a really fancy room in the hotel. It's really nice. Look at it, guys. So nice. They're doing construction by hand. Yeah. And okay. Right there, they're doing construction by hand. Yeah, and they have cylinder blocks and cement. Look at all the cars. They're all old cars. Oh, cute little buggy. A cute little buggy. So, so, you know. so this is a really pretty pink car with the Cuban flag on it. So these are different color cars and they're old. Oh, yeah.